So we explored Steiner. We looked at Corita. What about House Davian? We've been looking at the Battletech narrative of the past couple of podcasts, vlogs, and asking if you were going to build a lance based on the narrative, if you were going to pull into that perspective, what are some of the mechs, what are some of the vehicles that you would want to explore in your collection? And I countered first by saying uh, the Inner Sphere is a big place. Putting the mercenary companies aside, in all of the houses, all of the mechs exist in one form or another. So it would not be out of place if you're Davian or you're Steiner playing a Jenner or two. Jenner's a great mech tactically. Can't go wrong taking a Jenner. But they are seen, they are more common in House Corita. And, and part of this, of course, in the narrative is based on what is the stockpile and what are the manufacturing facilities that these houses have, not only to repair mechs and keep them in service, but perhaps even build or create a mech. I mean, there's, there's this duality. So in my mind for Davian, you're going to see the Enforcer. I think House Davian, based on their production facilities and based on them kind of pushing that narrative forward as a Davian-only mech, uh, I think in a lot of lances, it would not be uncommon to see enforcers. I think you're also going to see a lot of potentially battle masters. You're going to see a lot of warhammers. You're going to see a lot of marauders, riflemen, some of the older designs, um, but being able to field a decent amount of them because Davian is one of the arguably perhaps the strongest house and the house that does control. I mean, Corita has a lot of resources. So does, so does Steiner. And we're going to look at the other noble houses, but, but Davian is kind of positioned the best um, in my mind. And you can certainly follow up in the comments. Uh, they're going to have a lot of everything. So while they have some defined mechs, again, like the enforcer, it's really kind of an open bag to be able to see everything. I would say where I see the biggest difference with Davian in the narrative is, ironically, combined arms, conventional units, tanks. They're going to have some of the higher tech tanks simply because of the facilities they control and the vast resources that they have where they haven't had to scrap a lot of this stuff. So an example that comes to mind Shrek, the Shrek PPC carrier, fantastic tank. I give you permission right now to go out and purchase three of these, maybe four, but battle value is a little high, at least two. And I pushed up to the archive under my Battletech playlist tactics about this amazing tank. I mean, three PPCs. You don't need to know anything more. Battle value buy-in for the firepower like an awesome, but we're getting a little off topic here. But the narrative of the Shrek this is a tank with PPCs, some very high-level tech, and it's powered by a fusion engine. It's a high-tech tank. It's got a fusion engine simply to not only move it, but to generate the power, the raw power, to be able to fire three of these PPCs a turn. What you see is through the succession wars, the great houses having to scrap tanks and scrap certain mechs to keep other mechs running. So if I can take a fusion engine from a Shrek and put it in a medium mech or take that medium, heavier medium mech and put that one in a Battlemaster and put the Shrek in the medium mech. I mean, I'll leave that for the, uh, the mech heads out there. But what we see is a lot of the houses fielding conventional tanks that are lower tech levels, internal combustion engines, auto cannons. Um, different armor variants, simply because if we're going to cannibalize stuff, we're going to take that and we're going to throw it on the mechs. Davian having the resources, they seem to be able to field more of these high-tech advanced tanks. What would be uncommon in certain lance builds or certain support units is a lot more common in House Davian. So from that perspective, from the narrative, yes, we're going to have enforcers. Not necessarily a bad mech for the tonnage, but I don't think it would be out of place for the narrative for you to field some of the more advanced tanks, the more advanced units, and some of the rarer mechs in more frequent numbers when compared to the other houses. Your thoughts on that? 